you beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna be doing a full CoverGirl face today. CoverGirl sent me this amazing PR package full of everything in their new full spectrum line. And once I saw what was inside, I instantly had to film this video right now. So one of the first cool things we noticed about this PR package is the awesome curly natural hair on the inside. Shout out to CoverGirl for representing. This is CoverGirl's brand new full spectrum collection, an entirely new line of products inspired by multicultural women to enable the full expression and full spectrum of what makes us unique. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am multicultural within myself. I'm African American, German, Irish, Spanish, Cherokee Indian, and Dutch. That's a lot going on in one person. So I kind of feel like this line is going for one, multiple ethnicities and people that are multiple ethnicities like myself. In the full spectrum collection, they have foundation, they have concealer, they have eyeshadow palettes, they have highlight, blush, contour, setting powder, primer, eyeliner, lipstick, and lip gloss, like just about everything you need to do a full face. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited and I wanna try all of these right now. This foundation is available in 20 shades. I did give two away to my friends yesterday. I probably should have waited before I started being Oprah and handing out product. But let's talk about this shade range. Interesting enough, even other brands that are doing 40 to 50 shades are still getting backlash saying that there's not enough for everybody. So I don't know what the magic number of foundation shades that's gonna just make everybody happy, but obviously the more shades the better. It would be nice if they had more lighter shades and more darker shades, but this is what we're working with. But now let's try to figure out what shade is gonna fit my multicultural self. So probably not gonna be the deeper ones, not gonna be the lighter ones. I'm probably gonna be somewhere in this middle range. So I think I'm gonna be one of these three colors. And it's funny that I chose these three because all three of these are the color tan, but they have different undertones. So this collection does have a cool, neutral, and golden undertone. So let's do a little comparison of the three different types of tans with three different undertones. This is tan golden. Now let's try tan with a neutral undertone. Actually a lot lighter for being the same color. And now tan with a cool undertone. I think the closest to my skin tone would be the cool undertone, but it is a little on the pinky side. Let's see what this one looks like. Hmm, yeah, actually that was not bad. Breaking development, there's tan cool one and tan cool two. Okay, now that I've added Tan Cool 2 to the mix, that one does look a little bit more like my skin tone than Tan Cool 1. So let's just try Tan Cool 2 and see how this looks. First thing I'm adding to my face that is also part of the new collection is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Mattifying Skin Primer, and this has SPF 20. So it's great to have a nice SPF layer to protect our skin, and this is supposed to extend the wear of the makeup and provide hours of oil control. And I get really oily, so I really hope this works. Now let me grab my foundation of choice. This one is supposed to be transfer resistant. That's important so you can hug people in public and don't have to mess up their white t-shirts. Now for the foundation, it has a little glass bottle. It has a pump like I like, one fluid ounce. That could work. This foundation is supposed to have a long wear formula with buildable coverage to hide large pores, imperfections, and keep the shine control all day. That actually looks better than I thought it was. This side with the makeup, this side without, not bad. This foundation is available in 20 different shades and it ranges from nine to $13, depending on where you buy it. So first impression of just the foundation all on its own, I do think the coverage is buildable. That first layer, you know, it's like a natural looking finish, but if you add more, you do get the covers that you desire. I don't think it looks very matte right out the gate. It'll probably look better once I set it. And I really hope that it does keep me matte. We are gonna be doing a wear test today, but it blends out very nicely. 
doesn't have a smell. Now let's move on to the concealers. There's six shades in total. Their darkest one might not be enough for me to contour. It might just be the actual color of my skin tone. This first one is medium neutral. The second one is light medium neutral. And this bottom one is tan deep golden. Because I like a brighter under eye, I'm gonna go for the light medium neutral shade. This is supposed to be a lightweight concealer, brighten skin tone, hide dark circles, and deliver flawless all day coverage. Available in six shades and ranges from 842 to 1149. Change of plans, I like medium tan golden better. <laughs> oh, there's so many options yet, still not enough. It's really smooth, very creamy consistency. Not a crazy full coverage, it's saying that it's more of a lightweight concealer. But it looks like it's buildable to still hide what I want. I did just notice that they did not put the name of the color on the actual bottle. So that makes me nervous because now it's gonna get mixed up with my other ones that I opened. I'm not gonna know which one is which just by the name. And if I keep this in my purse and I run out of it and I wanna go repurchase, I'm not gonna remember the exact name of this unless I keep this little piece of paper for the rest of my life. Now this looks really matte. This looks more matte than the foundation. It does dry pretty fast, so don't wait too long before you blend it out. Usually I like to set my under eye with a loose setting powder, but there is not a loose setting powder in this collection. But they do have their Matte Ambition Pressed Powder, and they're actually calling this an all-day powder foundation, so this might give more coverage than I'm expecting. But I'm gonna try the lightest shade to set my under eye, and there's 12 shades in total. And this is the color Light Neutral. 105. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it on here and see if this works. I brightened it up. Pretty! Because this is considered a foundation, it's actually adding to the coverage of my under eye dark circles. So that's kind of nice. The color I'll be using for my full face powder to set everything is medium tan neutral. There are less powder shades than the foundation shades, so it's a little confusing that you can't just get the exact color of your powder to match your foundation. But once again, I hope this is going to be a growing collection. Just using a fluffy powder brush. Phew, that should work. I'm really liking the powders. It's adding some more coverage and setting everything, making me more matte and giving me a very smooth, flawless finish. To contour, I'm gonna grab one of their darker shades in the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Collection, which is the color Deep Cool 2. Using a tapered brush. dark enough? Oh yeah, I see. I might even be able to go a little bit deeper, just out of curiosity. I'm gonna add the Deep Cool 3 and see how this looks for my contour. Okay, I like the deeper one. Deep Cool 3 is what I'm using to contour. Now we're a little more chiseled. Let's move on to the eyes. There's a bunch of really pretty, supposed to be full pigmented eyeshadow colors. I'll probably be using this one because I love all these different neutral browns and these shimmer golden colors and that's like my everyday go-to. For my base, I'll be using this color right here. Putting that all on my entire eyelid. Ooh, that is pigmented. All right, that's a really pretty brown. This is gonna be my new go-to base color. Now I'm adding a little bit more of like a reddish brown color with this one right here, right next to it. And I'm gonna pop that one more in the corner. Now to add some dimension, I'm gonna go in with the darker brown of the palette and maybe even tap a little bit of this black. 
and add that to the corner. Now let's really test the pigment using one of these shimmer colors. I'm probably gonna go, I wanna see what this one looks like. I want this to look shiny. Ooh, that is a pretty color. I'm gonna go back in for more. It's definitely buildable. Oh yeah. Two scoops is better than one. That's as far as I pretty much go in the eyeshadow department on a daily basis, but this also includes the Defining Moment All Day Pencil Liners. There's six different colors to choose from. They range in price from $6.92 to $9.49, and there's a purple, yellow, and green eyeliner, and there's also a dark blue, a gray, and a black. I'm just gonna stick with the black today. This is what I'd probably be using on a daily basis. I do like that it's a twist top. I hate having to sharpen my eyeliner. Let's see how this goes on. Not extremely pigmented. It's taking a couple tries to really get it going. Off camera, I did my eyebrows, lashes, and winged liner. Those are the only three items that I have that aren't in the CoverGirl Full Spectrum collection. Now I'm gonna move on to these cheeks. I'm gonna use this Full Spectrum CoverGirl Sculpt Expert Versatile Cheek Palette. And it has this really pretty pink I'm gonna use for blush and this middle golden one that I'm gonna use for my highlight. Ooh, that is pigmented. And I like that this blush has a shimmer to it. Oh yes, I'm liking it. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna add some more shimmer with this gold highlight color. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yes. Oh, too, too much. Make sure you tap it, because it is very pigmented. I'm glistening now. This is probably a definite favorite in this collection so far. And last but not least, let's move on to the lips. So in the Full Spectrum CoverGirl collection, I have three liquid lipsticks, and then there's also three lip glosses, and there's also four Full Spectrum lipsticks in these shades. I'm gonna be using the color Prodigy. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like candy. That's gorgeous. Ooh, I love this color. That is so pretty. This is supposed to have a high color satin finish for a bold, beautiful feel and vibrant satin touch to the perfect pout of a luxe evening look. These range from $7 to $10. I'm in love with Prodigy. Oh, you are going straight to the purse. Ta-da! My full spectrum CoverGirl face. Overall, I love the concealer. I think it looks really nice. It's able to cover my dark circles. Very affordable. This is probably my favorite drugstore concealer now. I just wish they put the name on here so I know what color I am. The eyeliner, I wish was a little bit more pigmented. I had to go over a couple times to really get it dark enough, but I do like that it has a twist top. The eyeshadow palettes are really pretty, and I like that I was able to do a full look just using one palette. I love this highlight and blush combo going on in the, what number is this? Number 100. This is my favorite one out of the options they sent me. And I'm also obsessed with the Full Spectrum CoverGirl lipstick, because this color is just so pretty. And this is Prodigy. But the biggest test of them all is going to be how well the foundation holds up on my oily skin. We'll be testing the foundation and the setting powder today, and it is currently 3.30 p.m. So I'll come back at the end of the day and we'll see if this foundation really does last all day, shine free, and if it really absorbs my oils. So I'll be back in a couple hours. And I'm back, it is now 11.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight hours. Not quite all day, but a pretty long time. And these lights aren't doing real life justice. I just looked in the mirror before I sat down and I was like, wow, my skin looks really good. But now under all these bright lights, I'm 
glowing a little more than normal. I am getting shiny right around my nose like I usually do, a little bit on the forehead, but the cheeks look pretty good. This is just my highlight. I usually get shiny after maybe three, four hours, so to only be this shiny after eight is pretty impressive. But like I do in all my foundation reviews, I'm going to get my oil absorbing sheets and I'm going to see how much oil actually comes off and if any makeup transfers. So I'm gonna start off with just the shiny part. Look at that. Already back to matte. This is how much oil was on my skin and there's also a little bit of brown on there so that means the makeup did come off a little bit. But I don't expect the foundation to stick to the oil so that's kind of how this transfer here happens. But now that I've blotted, let me just dab this white cotton pad. Don't see any makeup on here. So I think once you first apply it and once you put your powder on, it's not gonna transfer, so that's good. I can give someone a hug and it still looks okay. But once that oil starts to arrive, then that's when you're gonna have to worry about transferring. But if you don't have oily skin, you probably won't have any problems and this might just be perfect on your skin. So overall, I love this foundation. I think this is gonna be my new go-to drugstore foundation. This and the concealer. My concealer is still hanging in there. It's not creasing, still very matte. My highlight and my blush is still there. The only thing that didn't really last is the eyeliner. The eyeliner's kind of gone, so I would need to retouch that. My shadows are still shimmering. I'm very happy with this collection. So I'm gonna keep experimenting throughout the week with just the primer, with the different foundation, and maybe the foundation with a different primer, primer, foundation, different powder. So if you wanna see me experiment, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you get daily updates on anything that I talk about on my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I do Foundation Fridays on Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So to make sure you don't miss another video, hit the little bell so you're notified as soon as I upload. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank <laughs> you.